the next portion of the modeling shaft is to cut the the hex shaped feature. So we are going to do a hex on this face. I'll click and start a new sketch on this face. And I'll go up to the hexagon sketch tool or the pol the polygon sketch tool which by default has six sides making it a hexa hexagon. The first thing I specify is the center point. The next thing I specify is the rate it is the end point. So I'll click on the circumference of the shaft. And I'm still underdefined. If I grab any one of the points, I'll see that I, I can still change the size, even though I thought I made it coincident. I'll try it again. I'll make this coincident with the edge of the shaft and then try and move it. Now I cannot change the size, but I can change the orientation. So the or so I will restrain the orientation by making one of its sides horizontal. That fully defines it. And now we'll go to an extruded cut. This is different from what we've done in the past. In the past we've done an extruded boss base to make a he to make a hexagonal feature, but th but we'll do an extruded cut this time to show a different way of making the he the hexagonal feature. So the depth is going to be 0.5. And now if I was to press the green check mark right now, it would cut all of the area within the hexagon. But that's not what I want. I want to cut the area outside of the hexagon. So to do that, there is a radio button right under the depth of cut. It's called flip side to cut. If I click on this, I'll see an a little arrow move it's kind of hard to notice but you see this arrow move to point outwards that means it's going to cut everything on the outside of this boundary if i press the green check mark i see that er everything on the outside of that boundary up to half of an inch which was my depth is cut 